Hi everyone. I'm going to get right into the reading. As always, only take it if it resonates. I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So some of the, the readings on my channel will probably be for you and some of them won't be for you. So only really take it if it resonates. You should intuitively know if it's your storyline, if it's your energy group, you'll feel it. Use discernment. And I appreciate your support. I appreciate you guys liking the video and commenting, especially if it resonates with you. And maybe sharing if you know someone on social media that you feel like the message might be for. And subscribing too if it resonates. I do these pretty frequently, so it's good to have you guys here. Alright, let's get right into it. What is the what's the message for someone? What's the current energy for someone? What do you need to know? Temperance. Two of Swords. The moon. Hmm. Someone has an energy blockage that they're not even aware of. What is it? King of Cups, Three of Cups. Bear with me, guys. Hold on. Death. King of Swords. The High Priestess. Empress, the Ace of Cups, okay, you're helping this man, I normally don't do the whole like beauty and the beast kind of readings, but honestly, because like I'm not a fan of that, like, you know, women are not rehabilitation centers for damaged men, <laughs> but I'm not going to lie, that's what's coming out in the reading, <laughs> that's exactly what's coming out in this reading. Um, I want to say, so for some of you, you're this man that was a king of cups and you're becoming the king of swords because of what you've gone through and you might not, you might have a subconscious block and it's like, you don't even realize it. It's just like this wound that you never healed and it's just been festering and it's just been building up and building up and you haven't been addressing it. And so it's like, you've almost transformed into like a king of swords where you're more guarded, you're distrusting, you're... It could be a, a scenario where you were in a karmic situation of like cheating third parties. And it, it's almost like you didn't see it. You didn't realize what needed to be healed and you were getting frustrated with the healing process because you're like, what's blocking me? What is the subconscious block? And eventually you just became a king of swords. For others of you, this is your person and you're this high priestess empress and you're helping this person out of this energy, out of this king of swords energy. Because what I'm feeling here, bear with me, guys. Because it's like, okay, so like with the temperance and then the two of swords and the moon, there was this king of cups had a subconscious block. He had some kind of blockage because I feel like when he, I feel like this King of Swords is naturally a King of Cups. Like he's a very good man deep down. He's very loving. He's very nurturing, warm, empathetic. I feel like he got tired of women using him for money or using him for sex even. I think he got tired of being breadcrumbed by women, being put in third party situations. I don't know why. I just get this energy because as you, as you guys know, especially if you've been with me for a while, like you know that I primarily channel. So sometimes I'll be drawn to certain images on the cards. I'll be drawn to certain... Um, just certain energies and it's almost like I'm getting this energy like looking at these women that they're like partying but in a toxic way where they're like mocking him kind of where it's like they're all coming together like oh this man's an easy target like we can get money from him or we can just kind of use him or kind of just I don't know like like that's how he kind of started seeing women is just like like he started 
I don't think he necessarily became completely misogynistic because I do think that he is very loyal and very respectful deep down like he is a good man but I think he like had a pattern with women you see how they all kind of look similar too. like they all got the same energy there especially with, with how they're holding the cups up together it's like I think he had this pattern with like the same type of women the same type of shallow women the same type of narcissistic women the same type of um you know women that just used him for for whatever they wanted uh women that breadcrumbed him maybe women that cheated on him women that used him it's like he had a pattern he had some kind of like subconscious pattern that he was repeating with women it could even be a childhood wound that needs to be addressed i think that this man also didn't how do i explain it <clears throat> oh my gosh sorry he could have throat chakra blocks as well I feel like this man also didn't um, really heal himself with this. He just kind of, it just kind of changed him. It just kind of changed his perspective where he's like, I'm sick of women like this. Like, I just can't trust women or I just have to, you know, close myself off. It's like he went through a transformation, but not in a positive way. He became a king of swords. And again, I want to say if you're this empress high priestess, like, it's a beautiful thing that you're helping this man out of this. But at the same time, like don't I don't know like don't do all the work for him or don't get involved in like a one-sided emotionally unavailable situationship you know what I mean like don't don't be his mother like support him and love him and help guide him like be there for each other you know if you guys have that vulnerability like and you see the best in each other like be there for each other support each other but don't let it become all about him is what I want to say too don't let it all become about because, like, empathic women can get stuck in that cycle with, you know, damaged, narcissistic, and emotionally unavailable men where it's, like, they just sabotage things. And it's, like, the, the empath, the empress, the high priestess, like, you know, fights for the man and tries to convince him and tries to mother him and nurture him. And it's, like, he just runs. He just sabotages. Don't get caught up in that cycle and don't let everything be about him and his traumas because it's like you're going to have your own traumas, your own issues and your own things that that are equally as important as his. So I don't get a bad energy from this man, but I'm just saying as you go into this, like keep your boundaries up. Um, you know, be mindful that you're actually supporting each other, that it's that's mutual support, mutual love that you guys are both helping each other heal and that he's not just like using you and taking your healing energy and then sabotaging and hurting you and pushing you away. Like a lot of emotionally unavailable men tend to do if they go through damage like this. But I mean, as long as you are in your power, you stay strong. I, I do. Well, let's, let's look into it. Cause I feel like your love is helping him. You're very different than these other women. And so I think it's almost like a perspective shift for him as well because he's used to very shallow women. He's used to women that just want sex, money. They want to use him for something. They want to cheat on him. They want to play games with him. They, um, you know, it could even be, no, well, let me see here. I just feel like you're, Like you're just very different than them. You're different than what he's used to. I feel like it's going to be unpredictable for him as well because maybe he's used to going for a certain type of woman and then it's like you come around and you're just powerful, you're intuitive, you're wise, you're strong, you know who you are. It's like a very different energy for him. Because I almost feel like for some, he could have become a player. Like maybe he, maybe this man gave up on trying to find a woman like you. Maybe this man gave up on trying to find an empress high priestess. Maybe he just kind of adopted this very toxic mentality of, you know, women are just gold diggers or women just want sex. They just want me for my, what is that? <laughs> What's that song? <laughs> they just want me for my pimp shoes is what I'm hearing. I'm sorry. That's so random. Um, that's a song. That's a song. Um, 
like okay so like basically the energy i'm channeling it's like okay so this man this king of cups you know he had this pattern with women and it could have originated from childhood maybe his mother was like that or someone close to him so it's like he had this pattern going for like the same type of women and eventually it's like he gave up on looking for this higher level deep soul-based connection he gave up on thinking that he could ever have a woman like this like you he gave up on thinking that he could ever have that kind of stable healthy strong like power couple relationship and he developed this very negative perspective of women like we were talking about where it's like he just you know, again he just sees women as like you know all women just want you know they just want sex they just want money they just want um they're all shallow or they're all they're all dramatic or they're all it's like he has like these stereotypes in his head about women like i don't think he hates women but i think that he like just assumes like he wants to have control so he just kind of assumes that he knows how all women are like all women are like this all women are you know women don't have emotional depth like that kind of thing um all women are impressed by you know fancy cars and fancy restaurants and you know and then you come along and you don't give a shit about any of that you're not impressed with his money you're not impressed you know you're not just after sex you're not impressed with it with these other women it's like you know, they, they like those things. If he's very charming and very seductive, it's like they, they don't love him for who he really is. You know what I mean? It's like they, they just, they like whatever they're getting out of him. And I almost feel like, like before, like I said, he was a king of cups. And I think over time he just became bitter, but he didn't end the pattern with women. So sorry, it's taking me a while because sometimes when I channel, it's like there's so much information that comes through and I got to sort through it and try to like express it, you know, and bring it to you guys. But basically, instead of actually healing this toxic pattern with women, instead of, you know, believing that he could have someone like this, he he just, he stopped believing in this. And he started just, he kept going for the same type of woman, the same type of pattern, same type of shallow woman, narcissistic woman, whatever it might be. But he tried to play them instead of letting them play him. Like he tried to switch it up on them. He's like, screw it. Like all women are shallow or all women are material materialistic or all women gossip and lie and cheat or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, he's like, all right, fine. I don't want to be alone. Like, I guess I'm just going to have to deal with, you know, that's just how women are. I'm just going to have to deal with it. Um uh, but I'll have the upper hand. I'll be the, I'll go through a transformation. I'm not going to be the king of cups anymore. I'll have the upper hand is what he's thinking. I'll be the, I'll be the king of swords in these scenarios. Like, okay, like I'll use you right back. You want to use me for sex? I'll use you for sex first. Do you want to use me for money? I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll lead you on and make you think you're getting money from me and then I'll drop you. It's almost like a, not like a game, but it's almost like he's, it's like he wants revenge. He wants revenge for what he's been through with these women. He's he's almost it's like he sees it as a game, I guess, to an extent. But it, it's like it's like a deep sadness within him. He doesn't want to see it as a game. He doesn't want it to be a game. But it just feels like he. He just again, he has that stereotype in his head of just how women are. So he's like, OK, you know, I, I accept it. I embrace this. Which, which makes sense why he has that subconscious block because he didn't heal the pattern. He continued. He actually dove deeper into that pattern, into going for that type of woman by, you know, developing this, this deep-rooted belief that this is just how all women are. Um, so, so, yeah, it's like, it's like he's accepted it, but now he tries to, like, one-up them first. Um, like, okay, all women are shallow. Okay, I'll be shallow too. Like, I'll... I'll, I'll match their energy. It's almost like he changed himself. He, since, since he didn't want to be alone, he kind of changed himself to adapt to what he thinks women, you know, every pretty much everyone on the, on the planet is. He, he, he changed himself to be a king of swords so that he wouldn't get hurt by those type of women and so that he could either be on the same page with them um, and not get his feelings involved or so he could even one-up them. But then you come along, you're the empress, you're the high priestess, you're just very different, very intuitive, deep, unique. Um, I, th I think it's going to change his perspective. 
I think it's really going to change his perspective with this Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune here. You're going to like almost end this pattern for him, this karmic cycle. Because like, what is he going to do with you? You're not, you're nothing like those women. And he could have friends like that. He could have like a lot of women around him that he just, you know, he just hangs out with those type of people. He's just like, yeah, it's just, it's just how everyone is. Um, and it's really sad for this man because it's like he has a lot of emotional depth. Like he is a romantic deep down he just really feels completely alone in the world. He feels like there's no one that's going to match that energy, that King of Cups energy. So he's he's tried to fit into the world by being the King of Swords. But yeah, you're coming in. You're coming in like a wrecking ball. I'm hearing that song Wrecking Ball by Miley Cyrus. <laughs> you're just, you're messing it all up for him. Yeah, you're so different. You're so different. Let me see. Your love. It's like your love, your light helps him see from a different perspective, a higher perspective, and end this cycle. Four of Wands. Yeah, this is a soulmate. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of love here. Why the Nine of Pentacles? Page of Pentacles. It's got Four of Wands, Ten of Cups, like... Okay, what is this about? Nine of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Son of Swords. Hmm. Something about these cards right here. to tell me he might sabotage it though yeah it's really sad because there is potential here but you gotta also how do I explain this you might see all the soulmate signs and all the synchronicities because there is a very deep soul connection between the two of you there is potential here for a life partnership I believe but there's two very different paths that this man can go down and it's not really quite set in stone yet. Maybe we'll channel it, you know, like maybe in a, like a future reading, it might come up. So like I said, if this is resonating, I really recommend subscribing to my channel, hit the bell notification below as well so that you get the updates when I upload. I feel like there's, so, so don't get caught up in the potential whole, like, it's like he's at a crossroads there's two or he's going to be at a crossroads because there's two different paths that he can go down you guys could actually have a long-term stable relationship together you could have you know there, there's a very deep soul connection here but because of everything that he's been through there's the potential that he will run from this honestly and you don't want to get caught up in an emotionally unavailable situation so it's like kind of go into it being friends, being supportive of each other, understanding each other and knowing that there's potential there, but not like not holding on too tightly to the potential because he could go down that other path. I'm seeing that potential there. Unfortunately, I feel like he would regret it, but I just feel like it's like there's just so much damage there that he might act out on old patterns and 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 cause a loss here. And then he's going to regret it. He's going to want to come back in, but it might, you might not trust him at that point, but he might not. I mean, it's, it's going to be, again, it's going to be, it's, it's up in the air right now, what he's going to choose to do. This is like future energy that he's going to have to make a choice, whether he does want to take the leap of faith because you are very different or whether he wants to keep being the king of swords and, and repeat those karmic cycles. But he, this man does have a chance to end this karmic pattern with you and have something that he's never had before. Or like I said, this could be you. This You could be this man and it could be warning you if you find a queen of cups, like an intuitive high priestess, like a very powerful woman, very loving, you know it's not your usual type, like she's different, like maybe she, 
maybe you have like girls eating on the palm of your hand too and this girl doesn't like this woman doesn't she's like she knows her worth she's not like these little fuck girls that you used to deal with or these shallow insecure girls like she's confident she's she makes you come to her you know if you're dealing with a woman that's just different don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone because there could be something really beautiful and long term here so there could be a warning here for a man not to sabotage it just because it's new and unfamiliar you know you do have this chance to end this karmic pattern tell me more about this let's wrap this reading up let's wrap it up what else Five of Wands, Page of Swords, Four of Swords, Page of Wands. Because okay, he's going to have to meditate on it and let go of childish ways. He's going to have to really go inward and do some soul searching. And you can't do that for him. You can support him. But he's still going to have to make that decision on his own that he wants to get out of that karmic cycle, that he wants to end that pattern. What happens between the two of these people if he does choose, if he does go down that path, if he does choose to, to go with the unfamiliar, if he does choose love over his fear, over that pattern, what, what happens between these two most likely? His ego crumbles, his giant ego crumbles for one. Um, his perspective changes. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, what else? What is this? Bear with me, guys. Hold on. What is he? What would he be walking away from? What's being walked away from here? I feel like there would be a huge ego death that would take place as a result of being with you. He would become more loyal and stable. It would take him a while to become the emperor, though, honestly. This isn't like an overnight change. I mean, there might be some overnight epiphanies and overnight shifts, like energy shifts, but it's still going to take him, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight. The Knight of Pentacles takes a while to get to where they're going, but they are the most loyal knight. They are the most stable knight. So it's like it's going to take him a while to build himself up and become, you know, this this strong masculine energy, this emperor type. It's going to take him a while. There's going to be a lot of endings, a lot of uh, friendships that he's going to have to walk away from, people he's going to have to leave behind, family members he's going to have to leave behind, possibly even old relationships, old ways of thinking. It's like he's going to – if he goes through this change, this this – trial it's like he's going to become a completely different person and you're seeing that you're seeing the potential the soul level potential you're seeing who he is on a soul level despite you know it's like all the damage and the current mentality and, and his perspective on women has kind of made him it's, it's like he's not quite himself he's not quite in alignment with his higher self and his spirit guides and his soul right now um He's kind of pushed those things away a little bit to adapt to the world, to adapt to becoming this king of swords, king of wands type, um, even though he is naturally a king of cups emperor type. So I feel like you would be bringing this man back to his true self. Again, like I said, though, I really if you're if you're this a woman watching this and you're thinking about this, protect yourself, though, protect your energy. Do not do the work for him. Be friends, support each other. 
Um, you know, if he's pursuing you, that's great. Like, you know, you can be open to it, but just make sure that you're not repeating a karmic cycle here yourself of being with like an emotionally unavailable man and like having to baby him and having to like convince him to love again you know what I mean like it ultimately has to be his choice like you can support him but he still has to make the choice to go through this ego death to go through the transformation and do the work to become the emperor he still has to make that choice to choose love over fear over pride over ego over you know his past experiences and his patterns he's going to really have to let go of the old perspective that he had on women you're just so different that you're going to you're going to kind of force him into that in a way but it, it's like he still has to make those those choices on his own cuz you know like i said there's two different paths that he can go down for some they really are going to make those changes and they're going to be like wow this woman is different this is like a queen of cups empress high priestess type i've never met a woman like this she's strong she's intuitive she doesn't you don't chase him like other girls do i think that's another thing about you is like you you don't you don't chase him like like he has to come to you. He has to do the work and he's not used to that. But if he wants you, if he wants to be worthy of you, he's going to have to get used to that. So what I'm saying is, you know, high priestess, empress, that's what you are. You're like the most powerful woman in the entire deck. Stay in your power. Stay in your energy. Stay true to yourself. Don't go down to meet him at his level. You know what I mean? Like help him rise up to your level if you want, but don't don't excuse toxic behaviors just because he's been through a lot or because he's been hurt or because he has this this bad perspective on women don't um don't chase him just because he's used to women chasing him you need to stay in your power if he's worth it he's going to step up and he's going to chase he's going to pursue you he's going to make the effort but you're 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 nothing like what he's used to he's used to shallow insecure women that that pursue him and that he he feels like he has like an ego boost from them with you you're harder to read you're more mysterious more seductive more intuitive but 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 yeah be true to yourself protect yourself um find that balance protect your heart be open-hearted but protect your heart from this person at the same time because again free will comes into play they could totally just decide like hey this is too unfamiliar um, I don't want to do the work. Like I'm, I'm going to stay with where I'm at. You know what I mean? Like they, they, it's going to be different for everyone. Some are going to make the commitment, but some aren't. So you got to emotionally be prepared if you, if you know, this person and it's not set in stone, it's, it's up to them. It's, it's, you know, things people don't realize with psychics, it's like, we're going off the current energy. I mean, this person, you guys could have a conversation tomorrow when the energy changes. It's like, you guys have that influence. You can change the energy and then it comes up in the, in the collective tarot readings. Cause it depends a lot on, you know, the actions you take, what you say, what you do next as well. But again, it also comes down to them as well. If they really want to make these, these uh, changes, if they really, you know, want to commit to stepping out of their comfort zone and becoming this person, this emperor, so that they can match you, you know, you being the empress. But a queen doesn't get off her throne just to 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 baby a, a page or a knight. You know what I mean? It's like you got to stay on your throne, leave the throne next to you open so that this man can become an emperor and, and meet you on the throne and you guys can be a power couple. But don't go down to his level trying to convince him to to be the emperor, trying to drag him, you know, force him by the arm to to come up to that throne and be the emperor don't try to force it just just leave it open for him you know like hey i'm here if you want to pursue me i'm here if you want to step up and match my energy and take the throne next to me but i'm staying on my throne either way i'm being consistent either way if you decide not to do the work there's you know there there are other soulmates for you if this man decides that 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 he doesn't want to rise to the call so tell me more about can you tell me more about like the potential between the two of them if he does for for those that are if he does become the emperor if he does make this commitment what's the potential wish fulfillment between the two of you and ten of pentacles home legacy maybe even like a business empire together like really just stability just this very strong foundation very solid relationship 
I think for you, you would be more in your power too. It's like you would feel very, um, he would make you feel very beautiful, very seductive. Like it'd be a very strong sexual connection as well. Yeah, especially with the Knight of Wands. <laughs> very strong sexual connection. <laughs> he might almost have to tame him a little bit. He might almost, he might almost try to be too sexual at times. <laughs> You might be into some stuff in bed that you're not into, honestly. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. What else? There's still a lot of trauma that would need to be... Hmm, let me see. Two of Wands, Five of Swords. Seven of Pentacles, the Devil... Hmm. He would still have a lot of patterns to work through. Yeah. I don't see it. Like if he goes through being the, the if he goes through with the transformation, becoming the emperor, like I said, it's going to be a process. There's going to be times when he starts slipping back to that old devil energy. And then it's like, eventually it's going to become too much for him where he has an ego death and lets it go with the 10 of 10 of wands. Four of Cups, the Hierophant. Hmm. And it could even be a situation where it takes losing you to learn that. Like, it could be a situation where he actually just loses you, and that's what it takes for him to learn the karmic lesson and wake up, and then after he loses you, he comes back wanting to heal things and wanting to commit to you. Two of Cups. Yeah, and you might have options by that point, so you might be like, I don't know. <laughs> Like, I don't know, I want stability, like, <laughs> yeah. Because you could end up being by, some, with someone else by that point. I don't, because I don't think your spirit guides are going to have you waiting long for this person. Like, I don't think they're going to let you wait too long. You know what I mean? Like, he's going to have to really commit himself to making the changes or they're going to be like, okay, bye. Like, <laughs> Anyway, I hope this resonated with someone. Like I said, I appreciate you guys subscribing. If it resonates and you want to hear more of these stories, more readings, um, liking the video, commenting, sharing, I appreciate the support. Thank you guys for watching.